В Фърстен Тянк харесахме идеята Innovation Challenge от самото начало и решихме да я подкрепим с голямо удоволствие. Ясно за всички, че иновациите са основен фактор за поддържане на конкурентно способност на българските фирми и въобще двигател за развитието на цялата економика, така че възможността да се срещнем с български менеджери, които имат иновативно мислене и ентусиазъм да осъществят идеите си, за нас беше добре дошла, с удоволствие приехме и тя напълно съвпада с нашите корпоративни ценности. Така че нямахме съмнение. Първо искам да благодаря на кандидатите за това, че са си направили труда да представят своите идеи, че дойдоха на интервютата. За мен тия срещи бяха безценни, съм много доволна и съм приятно изненадана от резултата. Всъщност имаше представители между кандидатите от най-различни индустрии. Телекомуникации, финансов сектор, промишленост, малък и среден бизнес, по-големи фирми. Менеджерите бяха с най-различен профил, имаше изпълнителни директори, менеджери, продажби, маркетинг. И преди всичко имаше много добри иновативни идеи, като повечето от тях бяха реализирани или на път да бъдат реализирани, което е не по-малко важно. Така че ние се срещнахме с много интересни хора. Радваме се, че в България има такива хора и с удоволствие подкрепяме тази инициатива. Аз бях много вълнуван. Това, което мога да кажа, е, че аз имам хора, които могат да се очаквам, ако да бъде честен. Аз бях вълнуван в мечтите и мечтите, и това бях вълнуван. И това бях вълнуван, че аз бях вълнуван, че аз бях вълнуван, че аз бях вълнуван, And less young also managers, they just don't talk only, but they think. And I was impressed how many thoughts they put, how to improve their work, how to serve their company better. Or I was impressed also by entrepreneurs, and that is very important for an economy to have this entrepreneurial spirit. Entrepreneurs doing great things, and entrepreneurs in a smaller city, family entrepreneurs, which is even more admirable, I would say, because they fight against everybody alone, and I think they have to be supported. And uh, what also impressed me is that it is not just ideas. Okay, it is ideas that they have worked a lot, it's the outcome of uh, thoughts behind, it's cooperation of teams into big, big companies, and they are final results also that many of them we have seen or we are going to see soon in the market. So I think I was very lucky to participate in this exercise and I think uh, I learned many things. I can also tell you that there are ideas that I'm thinking how to implement my personal day as a manager. I can say they exceeded the, 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 my expectations. Uh, the, 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 the general idea that we had with all, with all the partners was our countries need innovative spirits. Okay? Usually we talk a lot about marketing, about communication, about normal things, but all this are uh, nothing compare it to innovation. So the idea was to promote the idea of innovation to the whole society, not only to the particular people, some will be award. But we hope that by putting this as a, as a contest, more people will pay attention to it and more people will start thinking about, okay, how can I innovate in my personal life, my professional life, and how I can implement. So if we succeeded to raise some awareness of the wider public about innovation, I think uh, our expectation of the contest would be really, really, really exceeded. An MBA can make you not only a leader, as someone said, but can make you be a better thinker, a better organizer, and a better person in taking account the financial part of work and of business as well, which very often many managers they don't take into account. Uh, we've seen people here now as a personal feeling that, as I said to someone, they need deadly an MBA, because all of them, they are people who succeeded many things in their professional life, through their education up to now, through their talent, hard work, but they have arrived to a limit that they need an external booster, they need something else, go uh, higher 
And many of the people that we met, I have the feeling that they can be in a few years' time high-profile people and with a good MBA, not just a title. The point is uh, how much time you give for your, for your MBA, for your studies. Uh, so I think in a few years' time, some really high-profile people will be the outcome of this MBA.